Hey guys, welcome back. I am coming on to do a layout play along with a freaky fast Friday formula from the scrap room. And I'm using this flavors of the month kit from crepe paper. It's crepe paper, moonlight magic, and the colors are gorgeous and they're saturated and they're so pretty. And I want to use everything all at once. So I've got the three pattern papers and cardstock. I also have foamy bits, and guys, I have die cuts. I have all of these wonderful things. So I am a little conflicted about which photo I want to use. So I'm, I'm working through that right now. But let's start with a Freaky Fast Friday formula. So this month, we need to use one 10 by nine, one two and a half by 10, a six inch circle, ooh, I'll have to get a paper or I have like these plates for my six inch circle and I need two, two and a half by 11s. <laughs> so let's see. I think I know what I'll do. Guys, let me show you the photo I will use and then that will help us choose some things. All right, let me go ahead. I'm trimming one up. All right, I've got this picture. And it's my son on Snapchat. We Snapchat constantly and do filters and we're totally goofy. So he has himself all made up here on Snapchat. And yeah, looking like a makeup artiste. So when I'm looking at it, it, it just matches. Guys, look at it. it. Matches perfectly. Okay, so with that in mind, guys, I want to use everything. I love the florals. I love the pink. I love the stripe. Okay. The biggest piece that we need to use is 10 by nine, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this 10 inches wide, 10 inches wide. Okay. By nine. So we have 10 wide. Okay. And then we will do by nine. We're just going to go for it. I tend not to overthink the Freaky Fast Friday formula because A, it's just super fun to do, but B, like why? Why bother with that? All right, for now, I'm gonna put it on this uh, cardstock. This is in Fig Squirrel. Then the next biggest piece is that six inch circle, isn't it? Okay, let me cut a six inch circle and I'm kind of, do I want it in? Well, let's see what the picture looks like. I don't know if I want it in the green hmm, or in the yellow. Well, the yellow, I think in the green. All right, I'm going to get a six inch circle cut out of this. And then the other pieces, since they're smaller, we'll be able to cut out of our pieces and then we'll start moving it all around. All right, Hold so on. we've got our six inch circle. Okay, and then what do we need, guys? We need for the next big thing things. Ooh, a two and a half by 10. So that's going to be kind of noticeable. So this is 10 across. So I need two and a half by 10. It's going to be the same amount across. So at that point, let's go ahead and get the two and a half. I'm going to do it in this gorgeous floral because that's going to let me bring in some of this really pretty floral. So that's 10 or two and a half, sorry. And then we'll do the 10. And I'm low key thinking about cutting this in half again, but we'll get into that during the design. Okay, so that's the same distance across. That's why I'm like, hmm, kind of have an idea for that. And then finally, we need two that, oh, that are two and a half by 11. All right, so. So two and a half by 11, guys, this is going to be kind of fun. All right, two and a half. We're going to do this, two and a half. We will do two and a half and then by 11. So here we are, guys. We've cut up lots of our stuff, right? <laughs> um, I mean, guys, I'm hoping, I don't know. Am I hoping or not? I'm thinking that in the pattern paper kit, I'll probably find some pattern paper to mat this whole thing on. 
I'm not sure, but for now, let's go with the fig squirrel, right? We gotta start the plan. We have to start somewhere. So we've got this piece, perfect. Then I've got these two big yellowy pieces. Or do I wanna do the florals? I could do the two big florals. Like this is a thing too. I could do this because I've got this piece now. Like if I went something like that, cause we could go, wait. These are, did I cut these yet? What is wonky? So that's two and a half by how far? I think I cut them. Oh, I didn't cut it. Guys, what am I thinking? So it's a two and a half by what? By 11. I was like, why is it going all the way across? It seemed really weird. And that's because it's the wrong size. <laughs> Clever. Okay, let's move that again. So we've got pieces. We've got this big piece. I can also, oh guys, this one's gonna be a fun one because it's tricky. Okay, so we have that. We have this, right? I've also got this piece here. And this piece is low key wanting me to cut it in half. And then we've got this green, right? We've got a photo of Justin. I do wanna get some white um, paper to mat that with, just from my stash, guys, not a big deal. I've got some cast off pieces. So we will do that so it totally pops. Phew. Then I did want to fussy cut out a bunch of butterflies, pretty much any of them that are whole. I think I'm going to cut them out. So that's going to take me a hot minute, right? So what I'm going to do is stare at this. Very important, the staring at it portion of this party. Yeah, I'm going to really take a good look at this. Um, guys, I like it. I do. So I'm gonna take a good look at it, see what I think. I have to fussy cut out all of those really great little, um, guys, I'm looking for my trimmer that was literally right here on my desk. Fussy cut out a bunch of the butterflies. That's going to be one of the next exciting stops. Then we can get this layout. All right, totally better. It just had to pop. Okay, now in here, let's look at, ooh, Wander and Wonder, that's pretty good. Our happy place doesn't work for this layout. Ooh, we've got another one of these little butterfly things. Guys, I think this is gonna, wonderful things surround you. That would be great for this layout. And then I have all of these pieces. I'm gonna tuck, 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 tuck. <sighs> totally excited. I also wanna scuff up these bits. So I'm going to do that. Now I'm rather liking the yellow and the green like this, my photo will be popped up and that these pieces are a little smaller. So I think, interestingly enough, we're gonna go kind of like that. That's what we have going now. So remember, I'm fussy cutting all those things up. Let's just jump ahead really quickly while I'm at it and look at the pattern paper kit. Ooh, the black is cool. Okay, and then we've got this piece, which is gorgeous, but what if, guys, I'm having idea. Pattern paper kit, right? I'm wondering how I'm feeling about this really quickly. Ooh, that's rather tone on tone. Let's also look at the pink. I don't know, guys, what do you guys think? Now, I like the pink because of the black right and then i could mat it onto this all right that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna double mat it so my background's now becoming this pink really gorgeous a kind of plaid then we're going to mat it onto this little bit of black and i will also take some of the black and mat my photo i totally jumped ahead i didn't even get into all of the little bits and pieces but i wanted to get my ideas going and i'm going to scuff up all my edges so they really pop as well so let's see i haven't matted my photo with anything else i did cut out all of these butterflies and like i said i only cut out the ones that were full-size butterflies so that is fine not a big deal i think this wander and wonder will be a great title 
I'm not going to take it off of the uh, backing yet because lately these foamy bits have been really sticky and I don't want to wreck my paper. So let's just do something kind of like that. I'll have it tucked kind of with, sorry, little lotion event here. Now I've got some really great pieces and I have the butterflies, right? Now I have them set up in rainbow order right now on my fancy little glass bit. And I don't have any of the wings bent up or anything like that. I just wanted to kind of get an idea for what I'm gonna do, because I don't know. Just thought it might be fun to start placing them a little bit and enjoying them. So we have that. And then like, if I just do kind of like opposite day, I can do, let's see what, yellow, orange, pink, red, depending on how you think. And then we have our green. Although on this one, it's purple. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So the green goes there. The blue goes there. We can just totally match to the thing. Okay. So I can have some come out a little bit, you know, because I'm the boss at me. Why not? Let's layer up a couple in some of the areas. I think that would be nice. I've got lots of this, this indigo color. I think they're gorgeous. We have got, maybe we'll do like three green around there because I love green so much. So that totally works. And we've got a couple of these yellowies. And then just, I like those three. And I want to have the blue. Okay, so we've got butterflies. That's the point. Maybe we can have a couple there. We don't need all of the green in the same spot. Okay, so I do like the idea of them being kind of stacked up and more of a diagonal. Oh, that'd be cute. Okay, so we have that. Perfect. Now let's see. Oh, happy or our happy place really doesn't mean anything. So we're really not going to go in there too much with that. Oh, I can do something like that. That would be cute. And then we can do something like this. Just a card on a card. I don't need to bring in extra florals, believe it or not even though we have some floral paper, kind of feel like the butterflies are being the star of the show right now. That can change, who knows? I like this little daily reminders too. Those are cute. All right, so that's what we have for that. Now, these pieces, like I had just said, these are really sticky right now. So I'm gonna hold off on using more of those just for right now. We'll see. I already went into the uh, pattern paper kit. Uh, when I was with you guys because we wanted to map the photo, right? But oh my gosh, guys, look at the Shots of Life kit. <gasps> look at such a dream. Wander and wonder. Oh my gosh. Guys, these are awesome. <laughs> oh my gosh, I don't know which way to go. Okay, I like this such a dream. Now this guy just got chucked, just like that. And I am going to wander and wonder now. Now these, the deal that I want to tell you about them, is when you take them out, make sure you don't bend them because they increase pretty, pretty strongly. Okay. So we have such a dream, a very, very large and a very, very pink. And that is fine. I think it's cute. Okay, we have that. There's great florals. Oh, look at the little birdie. I want the birdie. I cannot believe I'm just cutting this right up because I don't want to crease it right now. <laughs> I want to put the birdie up there. How cute is that? I'm going to uh, hang on to these pieces too in case I want some of these foamy bits right there. Now this one has this gorgeous orchidy butterfly and this one has this orangey one. So I think I, when I'm putting them down, I'm going to play that whole thing up as well. Let's see if there's anything I wanted to do on here. I totally wanted to use those, so that was fun. I'm not doing the um, florals on this one, which I cannot believe, but I'm not. So I get to put this to the side. I'm just using a bunch of the foamy bits. So I'm going to 
what do I have here? Okay, let me put that away. Then, guys, look at this. In the embellishment kit, we have got these gorgeous, gorgeous washi pieces. And I want to bring in some of these tickets. So guys, for now, let me get all of these pieces popped on. I don't know. I'm, I have ideas. First of all, I think I better mat that photo some more because we're starting to have some issues. You know what I could do? I'm going to mat the photo actually in the paper from our Shots of Life kit because I love this, this super deep, it's like a super deep honey color, really. It's gorgeous. And I'm going to, I'll scuff up the edges and I'm going to go ahead also and pop it up on some foam. Then what I was thinking when I saw this embellishment kit, guys, there are some, look at how gorgeous that is. There are some of these pieces and I'm wondering, can I use this rickrack and this bit as the thing to start my butterflies coming down? Guys, I know I just put them on there, but it'll be easier in the end to take them off and put them back on, you know, when I put a bunch of adhesive. So let me take these guys. We went to pink with the pink, into purple with the purple this time, all of that. Not a biggie. Now, I know I want to put this under my photo. These are very cool. You can go ahead and um, you can go ahead and take them apart. They're totally perforated, so easy to use. So I'm gonna get all of these pieces on, but I wanted to show you what I was thinking. Again, let's put this daily reminders. And I'm going to need my T square ruler because your girl cannot put things on straight. It's just not my thing. I don't have the eye for it. Ooh, and I hear my coffee. My coffee is telling me to come visit. All right, that will be fine. Let me get this scuffed, put on foam. But what I was talking about, guys, all right, I saw a couple things that I thought were kind of interesting. And since it's washy, it's probably going to be pretty forgiving, this idea I have. What if, guys, just work with me. I do this line coming from one side to the other. All right, I guess we started on the floral. So we'll just go with it. And we have it kind of run. And that will be the thing that kind of tells the butterflies where to run. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. It might make sense. It makes sense in my head. How's that? So I'm going to put that piece under there and we'll get this piece back in here. And guys, I kind of went on a funny angle. Why is it a funny angle? Because it doesn't really match the other one. Not that it matters because we probably won't even see this once I get a bazillion butterflies on. But, you know, I'm, I'm thinking about this a little bit. Okay, so we have that. I like that idea. And I also liked the idea of doing that again. Oh wait, I thought that was cut out by, no, 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 we don't wanna do that. I'm getting so excited. Okay, I ended up using the washi for that and I don't know why, but I like it. So that's good. I need to pop this up. I need to stuff it and get all those butterflies back on. And I'll meet you right back here. All of these pieces are on there and I just wanna show you how stinking cute all of those butterflies are. Okay, and I decided, you know, like I told you to color block. I don't know. I was just totally feeling it. So let's see what we have here. I don't have a whole lot of blue on here. So I'll just do a little bit where I see things. I'm just popping things on um, by color at first. And then we're just going to see where it goes. But I love the dimension of these foamy bits. So let's get some of them on there. We can put the pink in. I've got, oh, let me pop the purple up just a little bit more. We'll put the pink in right there. So that is gorgeous. Ooh, there's more over here. Okay. And remember how I said, be careful about bending. So try to push your foamy bits from the back and bring them forward. And you'll end up liking the effect far more than creased and bent up pretty bits. All right, so let me go ahead and tuck this in there. So you see things, but they're not super obvious. So like, for example, you can see the different foamy bits within the color blocking 
idea. Okay, so that's super fun. I like this such a dream. Wonderful things surround you. I think I'm going to do that coming down this way. So uh, I'm going to take that piece off first. So I'm just going to do one word, you know, like coming down. I think that would be really cute. So wonderful. And I'm going to have it tuck going this way to keep my diagonal going. Wonderful things surround and then the U surround. Oopsie, not that side. There we go. Surround you. So showing that these beautiful butterflies are surrounding. And then we have that. Oh, and then I'm going to get this word love. I think that is perfect to have up here. So it says, it kind of reads daily love now. Wasn't intentional, but that's how that one went. And we can have a little foamy. See, I don't want more going this way because I really like the idea of keeping, no, nope, that doesn't get to go on, of keeping most of a diagonal. Okay. Then let's go ahead and we'll put that purple bit up by the purple butterflies. All of those gorgeous pieces are on there. So guys, let me show you my finished layout. I think it is fun and colorful and bright. Perfect for a fun Snapchat filter. And that, my friends, is what I have for you today. So I'm going to have links down below for the Scrap Room website, the Facebook group, the blog, all of that. So you can see everything that's going on, join challenges, do all of the fun stuff. And guys, I will be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.